Oh! This is the 8th one, right? 8th, 10th summon, okay. Here we go. It has got to be Raiden Shogun. Ah, oh, the flute. Dang it. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, I got Kujo. Was I not on... Was that guaranteed? For the last one, then? Oh, no. Did I miscalculate? Oh, fuck. Wait, really? I thought... Oh, dang. I mean, at least I got Kujo, but... F oh, man. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So what you just saw was my first... Uh, first time experience realizing that there is something uh, I didn't realize about the Genshin Impact system when it comes to the pity. Uh, so this is this video is for people who already know what the pity system is and who have been playing uh, Genshin Impact for, for some time. Uh, obviously, maybe for all the whales and stuff like that, um, they already know about this, but I didn't know about it, so there probably is a chance that there are a good handful of people that don't know about the intricacies of the pay system for Genshin Impact. I mean, it's still good. It's still fair in comparison to other gacha games or gacha RPGs, but uh, this knowledge is still supplemental and beneficial to know uh, when you do these polls. So when it comes to the Genshin Impact pity system, the number one thing to know is that once you get that banner character, so in this case, uh, Ryan and Shogun, as an uh, as, as example, you go all the way back to the 50-50 pity. So previously I thought uh, the 50-50 pity, uh, when you do get the 5-star character, either it's from the banner or the base roster, you just go uh, into the, to the guaranteed pity. That is uh, slightly incorrect. Uh, so let's say I did get the character from the 50-50 pity, and um, in this case, you know, riding Shogun. Once you get the banner character, you go actually all the way back to the 50-50 pity or soft pity at zero. So that's how it pretty much works. Uh, what happened to me was that I thought, you know, um, previously I summoned on Yoimiya's banner and I got Yoimiya, right, from the 50-50 pity. And previously I thought, all right, cool, uh, now I'm on the guaranteed pity because I went through the 50-50 pity and I got Yoimiya from it. Cool. Awesome. So that was, in, that was an incorrection on my part and I thought I was going to be on guaranteed pity during Raiden Sho, uh, Shogun's banner and when I, when I got Jean I was like, oh, you know, I was pretty upset. Um, it was kind of, kind of upsetting, right? Pretty, pretty kind of painful. That it wasn't Raiden Shogun. I mean, yeah, I got a five-star character, and it's Jean, so I shouldn't complain too much. But it wasn't Raiden Shogun, and that was my goal initially. And you know, that was kind of an L on my part because you know I made a mistake. But luckily, because I didn't, I didn't get Raiden Shogun at that time. Then I'm uh, put into the guaranteed pity, and I luckily I had a lot of um, you know summons left over. So I worked on that pity, all the way up to I think like 80 or something like that, and then activated my pity, my guaranteed pity and hard or hard pity, and I was able to get Raiden Shogun for those who wanted to know. Good news, I got Raiden Shogun, so I'm pretty happy. Along the way, I got C4 Kujo Sara, which is pretty cool. So it's a pretty good lesson to learn here, at least for me anyway. But for those people who are kind of new to the to Genshin Impact. Uh, this is something you should know about the pity system in Genshin Impact. Uh, but you do ha you should remember though, the carrying over, the pity system in uh, Genshin Impact carries over in a way. So let's say uh, we we summon on Raiden Shogun's banner, right? And like me, I didn't get Raiden Shogun during the 50-50 pity. 
And if you do keep summoning, let's say up all the way up to um, 179 summons, because that's because that's the worst case scenario that you get if you don't get the banner character and such, right? Because each pity at worst case scenarios is 90 summons if you don't get the ch uh, if you don't get lucky, pretty much. So at 179 summons, right, uh, happen in Riding Showman's banner, and that expires. But you still have those 179 summons carrying over to the next banner. Uh, let's just say Kokomi being the five-star character for that banner, right? Hypothetically speaking, you know, I don't know anything about the next banner. Anyways, let's just say it's Kokomi. If Kokomi is the next character and you do that one summon, the 180th summon on that banner, because it does carry over, you are guaranteed to get Kokomi. So that's how it still works. The carry, the carryover is still true and that is still that's what makes it uh, you know slight, slightly more fair <laughs> um, in comparison to uh, other systems uh, when it comes to gotcha games I mean get games like uh, Fate Grand Order like I don't know why but they need to really take note of that they still don't have any sort of pay system it's really bad in comparison now it's it feels archaic you know and Pay systems like this do still make it fair, but at the same time, it still feels like, you know, a gotcha game, you know? Uh, there's still that chance that you don't get uh, the five-star the, the five character that you want. But, you are guaranteed to get a five-star character after these set of summons, because it carries over. So that's really nice. Um, you are guaranteed at some point a five-star, so if you play Genshin Impact, you're gonna have a five-star in your roster, and it's, it'll, it'll grow eventually. As you play the, uh, more of the more and more of the game, so uh, that's pretty much it uh, for those who are familiar with the Genshin Impact system. When it comes to pity, right? There is still the hard pity. There's, there's still the soft pity, and once you get the banner character, it resets you all the way back to um, the 50/50 slash soft pity. So you're back to square one, pretty much. So so that is pretty much uh, what we have to keep in mind. I wanted to make that correction. For those who watched my video on the Genshin Impact Pity system, it's still a great it's still a great system in comparison to other gacha games. That's still, um, in my opinion, you're right, true, I guess, right. So, um, but just keep in mind that once you once you get the banner character, it resets all the way back to 50/50. That's the most important thing you need to know. And now I know. So uh, once I you know, go into Kokomi's banner. I'm on the 50-50 uh, pity because I got Rod and Shogun uh, sometime, uh, sometime very, very recently. So uh, that is my my um, I guess pity system currently right now. <laughs> so with uh, Genshin Impact and then yeah, so Kokomi. I'm probably gonna skip on that banner, but we'll see how. Kogomi is, and the, the four-star characters, right? If it's just Toma, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I, I'd rather just save my, my gems for someone else. If there's someone else cool, uh, we'll have to see about that. If not, I'll probably roll on the, the weapon banner, because I could use a five-star weapon. That's cool, you know what I mean? So, there, there you go. So, <laughs> But yeah, it all just depends and stuff like that. I'm going to save my gems, um, just like anyone else should when it comes to being a free-to-play player or a low-budget low player. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to make this video. I thought it was pretty worth um, correcting and knowing, stuff like that, because there's, there's uh, probably a handful of people that still don't know about this uh, little little uh, nuance when it comes to the PD system. So, so I make that video for you guys. So anyway, uh, please uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Really appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. I will, uh, just like the previous video, I will try to do my best to answer questions about the Genshin Impact pity system in the comment section below. And yeah, so uh, let's um, you know plan our summonings uh, carefully and you will get the five star character that you want or you need, you know, whatever it is. So uh, happy summoning, good luck on all the banners in the future, including Ryan and Shogun and uh, let's all have fun uh, the best we can. So, I still really like the game. Uh, I play it every day, and uh, hope you guys have been uh, having good experiences with the game as well. So, 
Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out.